again, welcome guys. Uh, <clears throat> this is, um, you know, Facebook advertising is really something that's really uh, allowed our company to explode. Um, we started advertising back, um, I don't know, six years or so ago with, with Facebook ads and we were spending maybe 50 bucks a day. Uh, actually, <clears throat> when we first started, we had trouble making it work. You know, we, we, were, we were doing a little bit, um, testing some things and, uh, and we couldn't make it work. We stopped. Google's been our bread and butter all, all along. We were spending millions of dollars on, on Google for years and uh, you know, that, was, that, that was where we got all of our business from. Um, you know, when Facebook started, I started, you know, seeing a lot of articles about how it was, uh, you know, people were having success with it. You know, we just really couldn't make it work. But uh, I went back to it, kept testing. And once it hit, you know, it, 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 it really hit. And, uh, you know, we've been able to, um, to scale this now. We spent over $35 million. We're still spending, you know, on average a million dollars a month. So uh, those of you that don't know me, I'm, I'm – uh, I'm the co-founders of bookvip.com and Advertising Boost. Again, we spent over $35 million on Facebook ads. We've generated over 3.9 million Facebook followers, received over 26,000 customer video testimonials, which is more than any other company in the world. Our video ads have now received over half a billion views, and we've now produced over $230 million in sales using Facebook ads. <clears throat> so basically what this has allowed us to do is turn Facebook ads into a consistent 24 hour per day uh, cash machine. And uh, you know, with Book VIP, we've been able to take this from an unknown site to uh, now I think we're uh, the 15th biggest travel site in the world. We're competing against, uh, against uh, uh, companies like Expedia and, and, and uh, Hotels.com, Booking.com, who have just massive, massive ad budgets. And we're now probably the largest um, uh, Facebook advertiser for prospecting, maybe not for remarketing, uh, but for prospecting, we probably spend more than any other travel company uh, in, in the world now on Facebook. Now, this has allowed us to uh, em employ over 250 people around the world, uh, employees here in, in, in the Philippines. We've got a development office in, uh, in Mumbai, India, with over 14 people um, that are constantly uh, working on new projects, uh, new platforms. And um, so all this was made possible with, with Facebook ads. And I kind of want to take you through our, kind of our blueprint, kind of high level uh, of what we do and, and uh, from, from uh, creating the ads to, um, you know, uh, to deciding on our targeting, how we do bidding and, and, uh, and, and all that stuff, but also how we really maximize our profits by, uh, you know, really dialing in on, on certain things that make a, a massive difference. <clears throat> So we're going to start off with the uh, the optimization process. Uh, first of all, starting off with with um, ad creation, almost all of our ad campaigns are are um, bidding for conversions. Now we do um, we actually do uh, message ad campaigns. We do lead generation, which I'm going to show you um, here here soon. But the majority of our campaigns are based on conversions because Facebook's AI has gotten really really good especially over the last year, couple years, um, when you bid for conversions, if you have your, your pixel in place, they will start to look at every single cell that comes through. They will analyze each of those uh, people that, um, that bought from you, uh, look at their profiles, what they like, their demographics, all of that, and they will go out and find other people who are just like the ones that, that bought from you. So that's uh, a big reason why we like to use the conversions. But, but even with, um, with uh, messages and lead generation, you're still using that same, um, uh, the same AI. Um, you know, it, it will still, uh, once you start getting uh, uh, data on your pixel, once you start getting sales, it will still use the same process to go out and find new customers. <clears throat> so you need to make sure that you, um, you, know, you have your pixel installed and we choose uh, an event that Facebook is going to look to optimize for. So, uh, for example, you know, thank you page purchase. That's everyone that, that hits uh, a thank you page after, after they buy from us. That's one of the big ones we, we use. Um, so once you start off, you're basically in what's called learning mode. And Facebook normally needs about 50 conversions to, to start fully optimizing. Because it, you know, it needs to see people who are buying, needs to analyze those. So they need about 50 people coming in before they can really start to, to, to zero in on, on, uh, 
on your ideal customer. <clears throat> now, if you have um, a business where you have a low volume of, of conversions, say you have a really high ticket item where you're not, you're not converting 50, uh, getting 50 conversions um, and, and say a seven day period, one thing that uh, you can do, and we do, we've done this a lot as well, is you can bid for events higher up the funnel. So, you know, th if this is your, uh, your, your purchase event, you know, maybe you start off with, a, with an email opt-in, or maybe they, they uh, uh, downloaded a free report, something like that. So, you know, if, if, you're, if you're just starting off and, and you don't have those, uh, th those sales or you can't get those quick enough, then uh, a really good thing to do is to optimize for an event farther up the funnel, uh, like, like a, a lead opt-in or something like that. Once you get enough conversions, then you can change that around and split. But that helps you to kind of get started. A lot of people will start and, uh, and, and you know, not see the results right away and quit. But there's just the little things you can tweak and, and, and turn this around to really make it work. So um, starting again on, on the, um, uh, on the, the ad creation, you can set your budget, set the, um, your, your schedule. One thing you can do as well, if you're, a, if you're a, say, a local business that you're only open certain hours, or if you're a call center that's only open certain hours, if you choose a lifetime budget versus a daily budget, uh, it will allow you to set your ads on a schedule so you're not wasting money by people calling in uh, when, you know, when, when you're closed. And we used to do that a lot. Now we run 24 hours per day, seven days per week, so... Uh, we don't worry about that as much, but we used to lose a lot of money before we did that. <clears throat> now, I want to get into, uh, into the targeting. The targeting has really changed a lot. <clears throat> Back when we first started, um, you know, I, I would look at every single thing. You know, we, our, our ideal customer uh, were, were married people or, or, or couples living together uh, between a certain age, uh, you know, between a certain income, and I would go in and, and choose all of those and try to try try to um, pick out my ideal customer myself. And what we found is that even though you may think you know who your customer is, Facebook their AI is 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 so much better, and it's gotten so much better over the last uh, couple of years that we've totally changed the way we target. Uh, we we used to. Um, uh, we, we used to do, um, you know, a lot of look-like audiences, which I'll show you in a second. But uh, we've really changed everything uh, and made a, another massive change over the last six months. We'll get into that and, and kind of show you. Um, <clears throat> now, starting off, another thing, another, another, another big way to start this off, if you're new to Facebook ads, is interest targeting. <clears throat> so you can start off advertising, you know, you, you can, example here, agoda.com, booking.com, expedia.com. These are all competitors of ours. They're in the travel industry. So we know if people like those websites, then they like to travel. So that's one way, the easy way to start this off. If you don't have a um, customer list, if you don't have a, a season uh, a pixel that, that's, that's already went through and, 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 and seen tons of sales in your account, this is a great way to start off. So. Uh, your competitors, uh, industry magazines that you know, your customers would be reading, anywhere your customers would hang out online if they like that, that site or that magazine or whatever, uh, or, or again, the competitors, that's a great way to start off advertising those and start to get the traffic coming in. Once the traffic starts coming in and, and you start getting these conversions, then you can really start opening things up. <clears throat> Now, as the traffic comes in, there's a lot of ways to make um, a custom audience and look like audience. So let's say um, you, you've got traffic coming into your site and you, you, can, you can basically set up a custom audience that says, I wanna take everyone that's visited my site in the last seven days or last 14 days and put them in this custom audience. That's a low level way to then turn that into a look like audience. So now you can, you can tell Facebook, look, Everyone that visited my site in the last seven to 14 days, I want you to go in and analyze those and give me a list of say two million people who look just like the ones that visited my site. Again, that's a low level way to do things, but when you're just starting off, it's actually, it's actually really good. Then you look at people that will say, went to, your, um, went to your order page but didn't buy. That's a much better customer. That's a much, uh, uh, they show much higher intent. So you can create an audience of people who went to your, uh, your order page, 
getting by, but now you got a higher intent that you can turn around and make a lookalike audience from. And then ideally, once you start getting customers in, you take those customers, you can upload them into Facebook. Facebook will match those to their users, and then you can create a lookalike audience that asks Facebook to make you an audience of people that look just like the ones that bought from you. And that's really how we've grown our business over the last four or five years. It's been a lookalike audience. Um, when you create a lookalike audience, you can, there's a scale from one to 10. A 1% audience basically gives you uh, 2 million people. In the US, it gives you about 2 million people. And that's your most targeted audience. A 1% audience of, of, your, of your past buyers give you 2 million people who Facebook thinks are just like the ones that bought from you. And then as you're successful with that, then you can increase that to a 2% audience. Now that's not as, that, not, it's not as targeted, but that will give you about 4 million people to target. And so that's how we've uh, really grown our business over, over the last several years, is by look like audiences. And we went from 2% audience, at first I only did 1%. I thought that was the only thing that would work. Then I went to 2%. And then as we started really, uh, really growing, we uh, broke in, Facebook actually called us and they moved us in what they call their A-team, or their top 30 travel companies in the world. And Facebook would come to my house. We would start working on things together at my house. I would go to the, the Facebook office and they started showing me a lot of things how we can make that, expand that look like audience from 1% up to 6 to 8% and, and really get a much larger um, audience to target to really scale things. So this is really, really, really uh, a great way to get, to get started, to start off getting traffic from, from uh, you know, interest-based, turn that into a, a custom audience, and then turn that into a look-like audience so Facebook will go out and really find your customers. So here's how this looks. So this right here is 4% Cancun Master 2017. So this audience is everyone that bought from us, uh, bought a Cancun package from us in 2017. We took that, uploaded that list of, of names, email addresses, Facebook then matched them up to their, uh, their, their profiles and created a custom audience and we turned that into a 4% uh, look like audience which would give us uh, about 8 million people, actually right here, 8.5 million people that we target. And this works very, very well. We still do uh, tons of this. Um, it, it's, it, really allows, uh, it really allows you to, um, initially what it would, what it would do is, is keep you from advertising to people who Facebook thought you know, would not buy from you. So it really allows you to really uh, uh, fine tune your marketing, your targeting, and, uh, and, and your advertising to the people Facebook thinks are most likely to buy from you. <clears throat> then what we've really uh, got into recently, it's called super lookalike audience. So remember I told you the 1% audience is, is the most targeted. The 2% audience is, is, is the next best. So we start taking smaller 1% and 2% audiences and combine them into a larger audience. So see right here, this is 13 million people. Facebook has really changed over the last couple of years. Now they're looking, they're, they're they like much bigger audiences. Their AI works much better when you have a large audience. If you're trying to target a, a very small audience, it's, it, it just, their AI doesn't work as well, plus you're gonna spend a lot more money. The smaller the audience, the more you're gonna spend per click. So it's best now to really expand the audiences and make them as big as you can. So right here, this is the Crystal Cancun. We took uh, everyone that bought at the Crystal Cancun, Matt set up and made a 2% audience. This is, uh, Everyone who visited a Cancun page at least five times in seven days. We know what they're visiting five times within seven days. That's a very, very interested uh, client. So we want to get more of those. We matched that, that list up and made a look like audience from that. Uh, same thing with Omni Cancun. Here at Cancun, uh, January to March. It's another trick that, we, that, um, that we've done a lot. So let's say we're in January and we're looking for clients that uh, will travel in January. So we'll go back and we'll find all the clients who ever traveled with us from January to March and we'll make a look like audience of that because that client is different than someone traveling in the summer. People traveling in the summer probably have kids, uh, you know, and, and they, they, they're in school, things like that. So this works very, very well. Um, so anyway, we take all this, this one here, they watched at least 95% of a Cancun breaking news video. It's a video that we're running. So. Uh, we took everyone who watched at least 95% of that video, those who would be the most interested, and we made a look like audience from that. So all together, we have 13 million people here 
It's a super, super targeted list, but it's a, it's a, it's a large audience that allows Facebook to really uh, um, use their AI effectively and bring the cost down. <clears throat> And now what we're, been, what we're doing lately, which is, which is crazy, um, I can't believe we're even doing this, but now we're not even, we're not even targeting anybody. So just here, there's, there, there's no audience here. You know, targeting 220 million people in the US, basically everyone in the US. And we started this about, I don't know, seven or eight months ago. And now almost every campaign we run is broad based. We're basically telling Facebook, look, you go out and you find our customers. By doing this, we're not limiting to that 2% that uh, look like audience or, or the 6% audience. We're giving them 220 million people to go look through. And the reason this works so well is because once Facebook starts getting conversions, once they start getting sales, they're, they're going to start zeroing on the ones that they think uh, is going to buy from you anyway. So uh, this, this works incredibly well. Now, one thing I will say is even though we run broad audiences, broad, broad assets now, we still run some of the interest-based campaigns, some of the look-like audience campaigns, because Facebook, even though you're telling them to go out and target every single person in the country, once they get about 50 to 100 conversions, they will still start zeroing in on who they think is, is more likely to buy. And you could be, you could still be missing out on some other people. So now we run the look like the broad uh, ad sets along with our super look likes and, and interest based all together. And it's really allowed us to, to, to scale. <clears throat> so I want to go through some of the ads that, that um, uh, ad types that we use, some of the most popular ones. This is a simple image ad right here. So just an ad with a headline up top. Uh, but we try to make sure that. Uh, you know that it really stands out if you're scrolling through your news feed you're not looking to buy anything you're looking um, to see what your friends are doing things like that so this has to really stand out they have to get the uh, um, you, you know the uh, the headline everything right then you've only got a second or two or they're going to keep scrolling so this is a great picture the great headline great price and that's how we get them to stop <clears throat> now this is a page post ad page post ads are something that I don't really see anybody doing, uh, but we've done it very, very effectively over the years. If you notice, this ad right here has 732,000 likes on it, 196,000 comments, and 252,000 shares. That, that's, that's just a massive amount of, of free marking there when you've got 252,000 shares. You want to try to keep your shares, you want to have about 50% uh, of your comments. Here we've actually got more shares and comments. People really love this. Uh, you know, one great thing about the page post, and it's, it's crazy that nobody else I really see do this, but here you can put as many pictures as you want. You know, a lot of these, these ads will put 30, 40 pictures in there. So someone can see this ad, they can click and go through the whole thing, see everything they want to see about this, uh, about this resort. Uh, if everything's right here. So you're not limited to one picture or, or one video where they can't really uh, stop and spend time going through that. Another great thing about this too, since a lot of people don't do this, is it looks more native. So, uh, you know, native posts uh, are, are, are very popular. People like to see things that uh, they don't think is an ad. So this works really, really well. And to do this, basically all you do is you go in and, and put a post on your, uh, on your Facebook page, your, your business page. And then when you create the ad, you just, uh, you just uh, choose existing post and this populates in the ad. So, um, that's another very, very effective way that we've, that we've found and we still use to, uh, to drive tons of business. <clears throat> Excuse me. Another big thing we do is, uh, is Facebook lead ads. Uh, you know, Facebook knows everything about your customer. They, or they know their, their, their name, their phone, their email, all of that. So it makes it much easier uh, to get information from, from people because when you, thought, you, when you create a, a lead form, Facebook pre-populates it with the customer's information. So it's, uh, it's, it's, it's a very effective uh, way to advertise and get leads to, to grow your company. So this right here says, would you like to see our number one Cancun deal of 2019, including a secret bonus not listed anywhere on our site? And they click this Learn Now button, and a lead form pops up, and it's pre-populated with information, and it sends it right to us. <clears throat> so basically, to set that up, you'll choose Lead Ad. 
Uh, you'll put in your information, your headlines, your, your, um, uh, your text. You will choose your questions. And then it populates it right here. They click on the Learn Now button, and this form pops up, and it's pre-populated with your information. Uh, all you do is submit that, all they, all they do is submit that form and you get the information right away. Now one thing that we've learned is that because it's so easy, all they have to do is press a button, they don't have to fill out anything, um, a lot of times people will say, oh, I didn't do that, uh, you know, it was a mistake or whatever. So what we found is it's better to have them uh, ask them some other questions. So have you ever been to Cancun before? It would be a drop down yes or no. When would you like to travel to Cancun? And we have uh, selections like you know one to three months, four to six months, you know six months to a year. So now you can call them, call them back up and say, hey, you fill out our form. You said you'd like to go to Cancun uh, in, in the next one to three months. So you got a great lead in to follow up with that with, with that customer. <coughs> and then to really uh, to really make this uh, automated and really to really scale, you can uh, use Zapier to the connection between the Facebook lead ads and say active campaign or, or say a Twilio account that will allow you to to text them as soon as they fill that out there's other things you can do to uh, to create automatic uh, calls so they um, say give a dialer where it, it calls them as soon as they fill that out so that allows you to jump on that and call those leads right away and uh, you know it's, it's when you're creating when you're creating uh, um, uh, lead campaigns it's best to call them as soon as you can. So this is a great way to automate that. And Facebook lead ads is something that we have a, a ton of success with. <clears throat> and then video ads. Video ads is, is, is really kind of our bread and butter now. Something that uh, you know, we didn't do a lot of until the last couple of years and, and now, now it's definitely over half of what we do. Um, and you, you notice some of the tricks that we use here. So this, this right here is all in the video. Even though this text is, 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 uh, is, is not moving, uh, this is the only part that's moving right here. This, all this text, everything is inside the video. And uh, the great thing about that is, is it, really, it really helps your ad to stand out. Someone's scrolling through their news feed and they see this huge ad here. Uh, the, the price, Wisconsin Dells, it's, it's a great location in, uh, in Wisconsin people love. Uh, it includes four water port passes. You know, this really helps uh, that ad to stand out, uh, having, having the, the great text headlines uh, along with the video. <clears throat> and another big thing that, the, that you should do is, is, is definitely use square or, or, or vertical videos because uh, if you're using a, a, square, a square video versus the horizontal, the square takes up your, uh, your person's entire screen if they're on mobile. So you really get their attention. You got you got a much uh, you have much more uh, uh, space on their on their phone to really grab their attention and get them to click through. <clears throat> so again, there's there's some some other ads here where we use a lot of text uh, throughout the uh, throughout the video. All of our little bullet points: six day vacation, five ninety nine, reserve for only ninety nine dollars down. All those little things we kind of add it in the uh, in, in the video there to really uh, uh, get the customer's attention and make them stop. <clears throat> it's another one right here. Number one snorkeling resort in North America, uh, great price, and, uh, and it's another one that works incredibly well. <clears throat> now a lot of you uh, are probably uh, that are familiar with advertising know there's a 20% text rule. So if you look here, um, Facebook's rule is that the video cannot have more than 20% text in that. So you notice here, it's, it's way more than 20% text. So there's a one little trick that we use to get around that. When you're creating your video, click on the Customize Video button right here. <clears throat> click on the Select Image thumbnail, and just select the, uh, an image that has no text in it. Once you do that, now you've got a custom, uh, custom image that covers the text, and you get around it right there every time. So that's, uh, that, that's, that's a great way to get around. A lot of people will try to reduce the amount of text, which reduces the effectiveness of the ad. And this is all you do right here to get around that rule, and you can, you can have great looking video ads. <coughs> and another big thing that we've, uh, that we've been doing lately 
um, is dynamic creatives, a new thing that came out that uh, allows you to, to split test tons, tons of ads all in one place. It would normally take you, uh, you know, a couple of days to create 60 ads. You can do it here in about 10 minutes. And Facebook will uh, mix and match tons of different headlines, uh, text, calls to action, uh, videos, images, all that. So basically all you do is you go in, collect, select the uh, dynamic creative. You can upload multiple videos, images that will populate right here. And then this is an example of an, of an ad we've got. So uh, this is the text. This right here is what goes in this, this spot right here. So notice you can do five of these. <clears throat> and Facebook will then take all of those uh, your, your, your images, your, your text, everything, and they will mix and match. So they can turn this right here into 60 different ads that would normally take you forever to do, and you can do it right here very, very easily. But not only that, they're mixing and matching things. They might take you know, uh, this headline with, with, with a video, this headline with, with an image, and, and, and uh, you know, this, this um, call to action. With, with, you know, so they're, they're mixing and matching everything. And, and, uh, and testing tons of things behind the scenes for you that would take forever to do. Again, the, the headlines, calls to action, all that. So you create all that right here and submit it, and then Facebook does all the work for you. <clears throat> Here's a great tool you can do once you, once you have it as well. So you can choose your text from a drop down. You can choose the image that will populate here, choose the, uh, the headline that goes here, and the news feed uh, description, which shows up. Uh, on, on desktop computers that I'll show right here. So you can kind of uh, play with that and see what your ads will look like. And then once you, once you submit that, Facebook will start testing everything. They will start, do all the combinations and then you're, allowed, then you're able to pick out a winner. Once you pick the winner out, now you can go in and, uh, and, and take that out and create a standalone ad with it. <clears throat> Now, another thing Facebook really uh, is big on, and, and, and definitely more and more recently, is social proof. So Facebook likes to see that your ads are getting, are, are getting commented on, they're getting liked, they're getting shared. Because they figure if, if, if people are liking your ads or spending more time on Facebook, this is an ad that they want to show to other people. So that's very, very important. I want to show you some tricks that we use now to, uh, to, to really maximize the social proof. <coughs> So this ad right here, you can notice, see it's got uh, 6 million people. Uh, there's 35,000 likes, 17,000 comments, uh, 9.9 thousand shares. Again, you want to try to keep the shares to be about 50%, at least 50% of your, of, your, of your comments. So Facebook looks at this ad and, and, and sees it's a very, very good ad. And they, they run a, put a score on the ad from 1 to 10. Uh, you want to be as close to 10 as possible. It's very, very hard to get, to get 10s, but... Definitely, you want to try to be in, in, in the, at least the, uh, the 7 to 10 range. <clears throat> so I want to show you how once you have this ad running. So this ad has, has, has 35,000 likes. So let's say I want to start a new ad for this, for this package, uh, this resort in uh, the Omni Cancun. I don't want to start over with a new ad that's going to have zero likes, zero shares, because now, I've got, now, now it's going to take a while to get back and get that quality score that Facebook likes. So all you do once you get that ad up in, in your ads manager, click on the preview. Uh, it'll bring you to, uh, to a page like this. And all you do is highlight this, this little number right here, which is the page post. <clears throat> you will click on the button right here in, in the, uh, when you're creating the ad. Instead of uh, just create ad or use existing post, you'll click on that. Click on this link right here. It's the inner post ID. Paste that, uh, that post ID in. Then it populates this ad. So you've got the same ad, your 35,000 likes, 10,000 comments, 9,000 shares, and now you're not starting over from scratch. So little things like this make a massive difference and allow you to really uh, stay above your competition, dominate your competition. <clears throat> and just to show you some more, some more of the ads that you know, we've got, uh, this was an ad actually right here, that I, a video ad that I created, and I didn't know anything about creating video ads. Um, didn't know anything about video editing, anything. I bought this little uh, software program and started creating these ads, which looking back now, you know, to me it looks like crap. But we made millions of dollars with these ads. 
Uh, and I'm going to show you later how you can uh, easily uh, get these ads up and running yourself very, very quickly. But notice this ad had uh, 3.9 million views, 118,000 likes, 37,000 shares. So this is, th this is what you can do once you start getting everything uh, uh, you know, running right, uh, once, you, once you start following the, the, the blueprint. This ad is another one that actually that I created as well. We have some updated ones now with our in-house uh, video editor, but this has 12 million views. This one little ad that I created, not knowing anything about video editing, 12 million views, actually it's got a lot more than that now, 209,000 likes, 106,000 shares. But you want to be able to use these same post IDs, these same ads, and, and post IDs in all your ads, so you're keeping all that social proof on, on, on one ad. Facebook loves that. They're going to give you, you're going to get better quality scores, cheaper traffic, and you're going to stay ahead of your competition. <clears throat> now, <clears throat> I want to show you uh, some great ways that we, um, um, great ways that we are able to, to really uh, dial in and find, you know, the ads that, um, or get, or get different ideas for ads and, and research our competition. This company, bookit.com, was um, a company that we kind of modeled off of when we started bookvip.com. So you, you click the, the, the word book there. And at that point, they had about 300,000 uh, followers. We had none. And, um, <clears throat> you know, we, we started looking at everything they did. And, and if anytime I saw an ad or anything, you know, I would screenshot it and, and, and look at that and, and see how we could, uh, you know, do something similar. Now Facebook makes it very easy with their page transparency. So all you have to do is go to any, any page, any of your, your competitors or you know, anybody that, that uh, you want to model off of, click on this page transparency section right here, and a little pop-up comes up and says view ads from, uh, from the library. Hold up a second. I'm, uh, got, I, got my, I got my slides mixed up there. Sorry about that. But anyway, it will pull up and show you every single um, every, every single ad that um, that this company has. Let me go forward a little bit. So, um, so right here for bookit.com, you see every single ad that they have. You can see they've got 34 different uh, 34 different ads that they're running in the United States. You can choose this drop down and see ads running in uh, and, and all the other countries as well. But you know, before I would have to like their page, and, and, and I would literally be on Facebook scrolling through, uh, and and uh, you know, using different browsers, trying to find these competitors' ads so that I could see what they're doing. Now it's very, very easy. You can see everything they're doing right there in, in, in one spot. So you see, it just kind of scrolls down and see every single ad they're running. You can see when they started. This ad started on May twentieth. So you want to look as well at ads that have been running for a long time. You know those, are, those ads are really working if they're continuing to run those. <clears throat> for a lot of people who uh, are, are online marketers like myself, you may follow somebody like Russell Brunson. Uh, you know, Russell does a ton of advertising. So if you go to Russell's page, click on the transparency, you can see he's got 490 ads that he's running um, in the United States alone. And Russell's actually running ads in, 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 in probably 100 countries. <clears throat> but it's very easy to see everything he's doing right here. <clears throat> so that helps you to kind of get, you know, get ideas and, and, and help to get the uh, creative juices flowing. <clears throat> I want to go back here. I got my slides, slides mixed up here. Um, <clears throat> sorry about that. Andy, that. That one tip you just gave about looking up your competitors and what their ads are is just incredible. So for those that don't, that aren't, aren't aware of that, because most people don't know that. No, they, they, most people don't, but it's, it's, it's huge. You know, it helps you to see what, what, what other people are doing. Uh, we've been copied in the travel industry by, by, by everybody, it seems, you know. Uh, you know we, we go in and we find out uh, what's working. We spend the money, and, and, and we see people copying us all the time. It's, 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 it's you know, part of the business. But, um, you know, it really, it really helps to be able to go in and, and, and uh, kind of see what the competitors are doing, see, you know, um, you know it just really, it really helps to, uh, to get the creative juices flowing and, and help you to uh, come up with ideas to create the ads. Um, <clears throat> so now that, we, now that we've got the ads running, 
Um, I'm starting to get traffic coming in. Now we want to focus on the bidding. So again, most of the ads that we, we do are, um, are bidding on conversions. One very, very important uh, uh, thing uh, to, to know is that most conversions, at least for us and for most companies, don't happen on day one. So you can choose your conversion window. Most of our conversions for Book VIP will happen within a seven day period. So we tell Facebook that we want them to look for conversions that happen over a seven day period. That way they don't look at the traffic coming in today if it didn't convert. They're like, well, that didn't work. So we want them to look at the traffic over a seven day period so they can see more of the conversions coming in. And then you know, we will set, um, uh, set a bid here. Facebook by default will not set a bid. They, will, they, they would prefer that you let them uh, bid for you, basically with, their, with, with the auto bids. And uh, what we found is um, it's, it's hard to stay consistent by doing that. Uh, there are uh, instances where we will do auto bids. You know, with auto bids, you can get a massive amount of traffic. So certain, certain days, certain, you know, Black Friday sales, things like that, which I'll get into later. We want to get as much traffic as we can because we know we're going to convert uh, at a two to three times higher uh, rate than, than normal. Uh, but for the most part, you know, we will set um, we will set a bid here, and tell Facebook that we want to find customers for an average cost of say eighty six dollars each. Now, once you start getting uh, getting traffic coming in, you can go in and, and set your custom conversion. There's so many different data points that uh, that Facebook has, and so you want to be able to look at at, at, at tons of different things. And so you basically go and set your customized call. You can see your click-through percentage. You can see uh, how much it's costing you per sale, how much it's costing you uh, to get people to, uh, to add the product to the cart. Uh, you know, just, just tons of different things. You got all the data right here at your fingertips. And uh, also you can view by, by deliveries. You can, you can look and see what your cost is um, on, on people who are say you know 25 to 30 versus you know 30 to 35 so your cost is uh for uh for um males versus females um uh, different regions if you want to look and see how you're doing on on you know placements or if you're doing better on uh advertising people have an iphone versus versus an android then you can go in and make those changes if you like <coughs> What you really want to do, once you get traffic coming in, you want to get Facebook out of that learning mode that they started in. Remember, it takes about 50 conversions to, to get from learning mode to the uh, initial learning complete. But you want to make sure you keep your ads in the learning complete. And um, the way to do that is to not make any big adjustments. Anytime you make adjustments over, say, 15%, Facebook will throw that that campaign back into learning mode. So we don't make any adjustments over 15%. We make we, we make small adjustments. So if I want to take uh, a bid from $100, you know, I'll take it to 115. If, and and uh, if it's doing well, then I'll make another adjustment and take it from 115 on up. If it's not doing as well, I'll lower it down 15%. If it's still not doing as well, we'll come down farther. But all your adjustments. Make sure you don't do more than 15%, and that's that's on uh, on bids, on budgets, everything. To keep it in that learning mode, that's the uh, excuse me, in, in the co learning complete. That's the mode that Facebook really has optimized for, and 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 it will really uh, start to fly. Your traffic start to fly, and you can really scale your business. <clears throat> and again, sorry about that. I kind of got mixed up on my on my slides here. Um, <clears throat> I mentioned the. Um, um, <clears throat> the uh, ads library within, within Facebook. Another big tool that we use is called SimilarWeb. SimilarWeb allows you to go and, and, and check up on any of your competitors, find out how much traffic they're getting, um, where they're getting their traffic from, uh, you know, if, they're, if, they're, if they're doing more, uh, more Facebook or, or YouTube or Google, you can find out what they're advertising or what keywords. Uh, so that's a, that's a very, very uh, big tool that we use. Now there's two different versions uh, there's a free version and there's a paid version. Uh, the free version doesn't give you as much data, um, but uh, it's, just a, it's a valuable tool for us that we, that we have the paid version, which is expensive. Um, but um, again, the free version gives you a lot of information as well. So we use those, those two things, the ads library, similar web, 
to, to dial in and, and, uh, and see what our competitors are doing, find out if they're getting traffic from certain places that we'd like to get traffic from. And uh, you know, that, that's, that's a very important part of the process. <clears throat> now I mentioned before that uh, you know, I started off um, making the video ads myself using, using uh, uh, editing software. Um, <clears throat> Now it's so easy to hire freelancers. This is a website that we, we've used over the years. We've hired uh, uh, tons of freelancers. We still have people that have been working for us now for years that we hired through, through Upwork. Um, another, another great site is Fiverr. Fiverr started off as a site where basically people would do anything for you for $5. I'll create a video for $5. I'll do a voiceover for $5. Now it's a little more expensive, but it's, 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 it's still nothing. We found, um, you know, we have, we have a lot of people that have done voiceovers and, and, and different uh, 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 video ads things for us that we make millions of dollars from. And it literally cost us, you know, 50 to 100 bucks. So there's no excuse now to, to, to not be, you know, running these video ads. You can get great, great video ads done for, you know, next to nothing by using these outsourcers. You know, some of these guys that may be located in, in you know, India, the Philippines. We've got people in uh, Bangladesh. Uh, so when you put an ad on there, you can say, I'm looking for someone to do this video. And, you know, by using the, uh, the video um, ads library that I showed you, you can basically say, look, I want a video that looks just like this. Can you do this for me? Uh, you know, obviously just change up, change up the, the, the clips and the, and the text. And a lot of times you can get this done for, say, 50 bucks. So you can be advertising looking like a, a Fortune 500 company right there for little to no money. <clears throat> uh, some other great tools that we use to get the video clips is uh, a company called Storyblocks. Storyblocks, you can pay one fee and get unlimited, uh, unlimited video clips. So you know, basically type in, you know, we, we, we type in say, um, let's say I want to do, uh, get a, a clip of uh, a couple uh, smiling on the beach, running on the beach, whatever. I type that in, bam, I got all these clips. Let's say I want an older couple. I type in a uh, couple uh, on the beach, 50s. Now I've got a couple, you know, in their 50s. I mean, it's just it's crazy the amount of content you can get right here. So this is a, this is a very important tool. Uh, another big one used as well. If you can't find anything for through uh, Storyblocks, is Shutterstock. Shutterstock is a little more expensive, um, but I mean, it's really nothing that they don't have. And uh, we use we use this to, to find tons of uh, different images. You know, right here I typed in Caribbean beach, and you see all these. And these are all high res images. And uh, this, this, this allows us to um, get all the craze we need for our ads. <coughs> now I want to really dial in and, and, and talk about how we, how we maximize profit. How do you set yourself apart from your, from your competitors? Once you, once you have the basics done, now there's a lot of little things you can do to really take it up to another level and, uh, and separate yourself from your competition. <coughs> So Facebook retargeting, this is a massive, uh, massive area that you, that you need to be doing. If you're not doing retargeting, uh, it's, it's going to be very hard to, uh, to, to, to uh, make Facebook work or to scale it. So when people come to your website uh, from Facebook, you know, they're, 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 looking, uh, they're looking at their news feed, they're looking at you know, what their friends are doing, things like that. They could be at work, they could be going into the gym. Uh, going into a movie, whatever. There's tons of reasons why they can see your ad and not buy. So with Facebook retargeting, now you can follow around, you can, you can follow them and, 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 uh, and show them ads at a better time for them. So you can see right here, we've done, actually this isn't even, isn't even, even uh, all of the retargeting done, but this shows $2.2 million we spent on retargeting alone to retarget our customers and bring them back into our website. The retargeting returns will be many times, you know, five to ten times higher than, uh, than, than your normal prospecting marketing. So if you've got an, uh, an average sale of, say, 100 bucks, and then you run retargeting behind it and you're getting that at, at, at say, 15, then you can bring that average, uh, your, your, your average cost per sale down to, you know, 30 bucks or whatever, and it makes, it makes all the difference in the world. Um, you know, for advertising boost, for example, uh, you know, most of our customers do not buy when they when they when they uh, first hit the site. So we show them different things, uh, different um, um, you know reasons why they should buy. We show different ads that said this is you know th that 
Advanced Boost is, is great for these industries. Here's a video showing how it works and things like that. And those really make the difference. That's where all the sales come from is in retargeting. So you've got to make sure you're doing retargeting. And all you do is put a little piece of code on your site uh, and it creates uh, an audience of everyone that has hit your site. Now you advertise to just those people and you, know, you can advertise at, a, at a, a higher bid because you want to make sure those people see your ad. If they went to your site, now they see your ad and they come back, the chance of converting them into a sale is, is, is super high. <clears throat> so you can see here, here's some, uh, some uh, other uh, retarding campaigns we've got here where we're getting sales for you know, as low as 25 bucks. These, these, are, these are sales that we're making four to six hundred dollars on and, and and we're coming in and getting these for for you know just incredibly low price through retargeting <coughs> and then for people who have um who have uh you know larger um uh product catalogs um that makes it a, a little bit uh, uh, you know takes a little bit more time to do um you know set up all the retargeting there's the, the, the dynamic retargeting this is what we use now Static retargeting basically you say, look, I want to take everybody who saw uh, my website and put them into a bucket. Now I want to take everybody who saw my website, maybe um, got to the, the product page, they're looking at this shoe and put them into a bucket. And then you can also say, I want to take everyone who got to the checkout page but didn't buy and put them into a bucket. So you can advertise to those separately with higher bids because you know someone that, that got to your payment page they you know spent the time to go through the, the product. They got the payment page, but just didn't pull a trigger. That's a much much higher um, interest client than someone who just saw your web page. So using retargeting, you can advertise to those people and bring those people back. You can run an ad that says, "I see you were uh, you know about to purchase the, this this product. Um, you know here's a ten percent coupon to uh, to go ahead and buy now." Things like that. <clears throat> with dynamic retargeting, which is what we do now with VIP. As you know, if you have a large uh, product list, you can actually uh, uh, upload a feed that has basically a CSV feed that has each each product, the title, description, the image, all of that. Upload that to Facebook, and they do all the work for you. So now they will they, they will show the right ad at the right time, and uh, and, and really allow you to um, to bring your cost down and handle that without any work at all. Once you upload that feed, the work's done. They do all the work from that then on out. And another big thing, once you scale, once you get the kind of volume that we got, it's very important to, to moderate your page and, and, and your comments. You know, we have a team of, uh, I want to say like eight people. All they do is, is answer comments and, and reply to messages on Facebook all day long. That's all they do. Uh, one big thing you can do here to kind of uh, uh, help save a lot of time is you can go in your settings and there's a, a section called page moderation. So you can add in words here that you do not want to show up uh, in your comments or on your on your page. So if someone says, you know, you know, this is bullshit, or this, this is a scam, or whatever, you can type those words in and and say that. And now when they go and try to put a comment on your page, it just doesn't post. And that makes a, that makes a big difference right there. So that cuts down a lot of people just trolling your page. And and uh, and causing extra work for you to go in and, and have it to uh, to remove those. This blocks it right there at the, at the point that they're trying to do it. And uh, you can focus on, on you know just on, on the other ones, the more positive comments. <clears throat> you can see on Book VIP again, we have a team that does nothing but but uh, reply to the comments. So anytime someone asks a question, you know we're right on top of that, and this makes a massive difference and, and uh, probably gives us an extra. 25% sales just by following up with everyone who has questions. You know, we're getting tens of thousands uh, of engagements per day on our ads because you know, many times we're spending, you know, anywhere from 40 to 60 thousand dollars in a day on Facebook ads, which generates a massive amount of engagement comments. <clears throat> Another uh, great tool that uh, you can use once once you start to scale and you start getting tons of. Uh, uh, comments and, and, and different things you want to manage is like a girl post. There's uh, there's multiple other services like this you can use that takes all those comments, everything, and puts them into one place. It's great if you have a team like like we do, so you don't have, you don't have people that are working on on you know the same comment at the same time, things like that. So it's really a great way to manage uh, your, uh, your your the feedback coming in on your ads and and uh, and, your, and your page. 
And even if you're, uh, you know, if, if you're on a small scale, um, it's still great because it's, it's, it's a tool that allows you to keep everything in one spot. So that's another uh, great tool you can look at. <clears throat> so, you know, on, on Facebook, again, I mentioned, you know, it's, it's more of an impulse buy. People are not looking to buy. You know, if they're on Google, they're searching for a product, they're looking to buy that product. On Facebook, they're not looking to buy. Everything is an impulse buy. <clears throat> So one big thing that we've done, and, and uh, this is kind of a, an idea that I got um, from, from Greg. Uh, I've got a few different ideas from Greg over the last few years that, that have made us millions of dollars. Um, one thing that we like to do now is, is, is get people to make a micro commitment. We know they're not looking for that product. They see us, we've got their interest. We want them to make a micro commitment to get their business. <clears throat> so one thing that we do is, is, is allow them to pay uh, a small deposit down and then pay the rest later. <clears throat> Here's an example of that right here, um, <clears throat> where we, you know, we, we, we tell them that you can get this deal for only $99 down. So they click that, they make a micro commitment, and then we get the money from them later. <clears throat> the great thing, uh, you know, this, this is, this, this is um, for, for the last few years, we ran this, and we uh, let people put the $99 down, and we never followed up with them. You know, when they wanted to travel, they would they would follow back up and uh, and, and pay, but uh, we never follow back up with them. And we introduced a, a payment plan. So once they put the nine hundred dollars down, we let them know look, you're going to be charged uh, every week for the next four weeks until this is paid off. And we didn't get any reduction in sales. It was crazy. We actually went to a, from there to every four days. So so. They're being charged every four days. It sounds crazy. I, I didn't even think it would work. And you know where I got this idea is from looking at, at uh, one of our competitors and seeing that they were doing the same thing. I thought, well, if they're making it work, we could probably make it work. And we get all of our money now within 16 days. We're normally, before, you know, we, we didn't collect it at all until maybe a year later. So we make those micro commitments. It increases our conversions by, by, by many times. And it's another thing that we're doing to stay ahead of the competition, we're, getting, we're bringing in more money than the competitors so we can outbid them and get more traffic. <coughs> Here's uh, other sales that we, ads that we do, you know, $99 down. And the $99 down, most people will upgrade. You know, very few people stay at the $99 level, but it's a way to get people in, get their attention, make a micro commitment. We bring to the page, we do a lot of urgency on this one. You know, you know, it's a, a one-hour counter. We get them to, we get them uh, to go and commit for the nine hundred dollars down, and then we do a, a ton of um, a ton of social proof. Ton of, a ton of um, you know, th this video right here is made up of um, probably twenty customer video testimonials. I mentioned before that we have more customer video testimonials than anybody in the world. We've used AdBoost to do this. You know, we'll give uh, um, um, a three-night uh, vacation certificate to Las Vegas if they give us a video review. And those really add up. Now you can use those in your, in your marketing and get a much, much higher conversion by having that social proof. <clears throat> and this is another idea that I got from, from Greg. Um, we take the videos and then put the, the, the caption above that. Most people won't even watch the video. They'll see the captions and they'll go through and we just, you know, we have tons of them because of AdBoost. And it makes a massive difference having that on the page. They, they see that, they see, okay, everybody else is, is doing that. These people are there. Uh, they're enjoying it, and uh, it makes a big difference. And then something new we just started doing recently is below that, we'll put screenshots of other people who've, uh, who have uh, went on the vacations and loved it. So we just have a massive page of social proof. So if someone hits that page, they see a, a deal uh, for, you know, for, for low price. All this social proof from the videos and, and the screenshots of, uh, of um, uh, uh, Facebook ads, things like that, and they go for it. <clears throat> so we take them through the order form, <clears throat> they pay the $99 down, and then that's when we hit them with, with, uh, you know, with upsells, different things to take that order value from 99 bucks uh, up, up to you know, hundreds of dollars. So this is a video, I mentioned that we uh, used uh, um, companies like Fiverr. This, this, this is a girl that came from Fiverr. She, we, we probably paid her 100 bucks to do this video. And uh, so we take people from the $99. 80% of them will upgrade from the $99 uh, to all-inclusive. So now they're at $298.
in the next page, another guy uh, that, that uh, does uh, ads for us. Now we upgraded to a, to a better resort for another another 199. So now they're at 500 bucks. So they came in, they saw an ad on their on their news feed for 99 bucks. You know, that's that's something you could do. You know, uh, without your wife being present, it's a small enough uh, sale. You get that. Now you're going through. You see irresistible offers that they are easy to make up with. Uh, you know, these these video ads uh, with, with freelancers, and bam, you're at a 500 dollar price uh, that that you know came from a 99 dollar ad. <clears throat> so all this together helps to bring your profit up where, you know, where, where nobody else can compete. And, and that's, that's what I've done uh, over the years uh, is, is I've always tried to make sure that I'm bringing in more profit than my competitors so I can outspend them, I can outbid them, and I can scale my business while they're still trying to figure out you know, how to make things work. <clears throat> and another big thing that we do is we take advantage of, of sales. You know, we probably add another 30% to our bottom line each year by taking advantage of every sale we can. Um, you know, Black Friday, Cyber Monday, Christmas sales, New Year's sales, <coughs> you name it. So here's a Cyber Monday ad that we run, that we ran last year. And again, kind of the same thing, the $900 we bring them in and, and, and upgrade them. And we don't adjust the price at all for these sales, for these, you know, these days. Uh, but on the holidays, they work three times better. So Cyber Monday, you're, you're converting at a three times better uh, uh, rate than you were you know, the day before. We take that Cyber Monday, we turn it into Cyber Week. Now we run that Cyber Week ad from Tuesday through the rest of the week. Uh, before that, we were running Black Friday and Black Friday weekend. So we maximize these sales because we know we're going to make, you know, Millions of dollars per year just on maximizing these sales. It really, it really uh, allows us to take our uh, profits to another level. <clears throat> Do the same thing for Christmas sales, New Year's sales, Valentine's Day sales, and um, you know this is this is one that we ran uh, this month, Cinco de Mayo. Now Cinco de Mayo, I live here in in uh, in Playa del Carmen, Mexico. Um, most Americans think that Cinco de Mayo is, is, uh, is Mexican Independence Day. Uh, it's actually not even a holiday in Mexico. It's basically an American holiday that they made up. Uh, Mexicans don't even celebrate, they don't even know what it is. Um, but we use that to promote a, a Mexican vacation and uh, it, it, just, it just blew up. We, we did, um, let's see here. So we spent $91,000 over a three day period uh, on, on our sequel to Mayo ads, and we did about four hundred fifty thousand dollars in sales in three days on a holiday that basically doesn't even exist. And you know, we're, we're just maximizing every single opportunity we can to throw sales, different things like that, to uh, you know take our profits to another level where you know our competitors you know can't really compete. So that's kind of a high level of, uh, of uh, you know, um, a lot of things that we're doing that's working really well. If you take this uh, information, you know, starting back from, from uh, uh, the, the, the targeting, uh, the bidding, all the different secrets that, uh, that uh, I've given here, uh, really take this to heart and, and use it. Uh, you know, I, I guarantee you it'll, 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 it'll pay off because, uh, you know, we're, we're, still doing, we're still doing massive, massive numbers, uh, you know, over a million dollars a month uh, right now, uh, which is one of our off-season our off season months. And, um, you know, getting into June and July, you know, we'll, we'll probably be spending uh, $1.5 million a month on Facebook ads and, and making it work, making it work. If we, if we, if we spend a million dollars on Facebook ads, we're going to bring in $4 million. So, you know, we're, we're seeing a massive return, and it's like clockwork. Very cool, Andy. That is uh, really is a masterclass in Facebook ads. That's my second. So thank you for that. That's my second time I've watched that presentation, and I've still got uh, four things of notes. I really should have got a bigger piece of paper than that. <laughs> so, 